Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to model an hourglass spring, uh, just like uh, this one shown here. Uh, the spring is pretty complex and uh, not very easy to model, uh, so I'm going to show you that. Uh, as you can see here, uh, in SolidWorks I've already modeled uh, one model, and we'll try to replicate the same. Okay, we'll make a new part and uh, start uh, from the front plane. As usual, we'll draw a circle. We can make it, I don't know, 70 millimeters in diameter and accept this. Uh, for this purpose, uh, I'm going to make the uh, front plane uh, visible. And then uh, probably the easiest way uh, to achieve uh, three profiles uh, is to uh, select this plane and hold the control button if you are using a Windows operating system. So uh, click and hold and drag. Uh, now we we made another plane. Uh, we'll set the dis distance about 50 millimeters. And say uh, we want one more, we can duplicate it, uh, accept this, and on this plane uh, we will want to uh, create the same circle uh, as we did here. So we'll go to sketch and uh, draw a circle, uh, and the dimension was 70 I believe, accept, and on the middle plane We'll also draw a circle, but this time uh, we'll make it a dimension of 40. Okay, uh, we'll accept this. Uh, you are probably wondering uh, why we do we need uh, all these circles? Uh, well, I'll show you soon. Uh, we'll go to the lofted boss base and uh, select all these three circles as our profiles. And uh, then we can see uh, we got this nice uh, hourglass shape. Very pretty. Uh, the next thing uh, we need to do is uh, we'll go to this plane again and start a new sketch. Uh, draw a vertical line. The dimensions don't, don't matter really. And uh, we'll exit the sketch and uh, then Again, on the top plane, I'll draw another one of those lines and accept this. Uh, this is where it becomes uh, interesting. Uh, we will go to the insert panel and go to surface and sweep. Uh, then we, you select the post two lines and uh, you get a uh, another plane like this, a planar surface, and uh, what is uh, interesting, you need to go uh, to the options panel and say uh, twist along path. So when you uh, increase the angle here, you see what's happening. The plane is bending and it is creating this profile on the surface we created or earlier. Uh, to shorten the time, uh, we'll pick uh, turns here and click a few times. Okay, we won't make it too complex. We'll accept this, and then, uh, yeah, we, we have this pretty interesting shape here. Uh, but then what, what we need to do is uh, go to Convert Entities and select uh, this intersection curve. Okay, again. Convert Entities and Intersection Curve. We'll select uh, this face and our previous loft. Just a second. When you accept this, 
and uh, uh, hide these two objects you can see uh, what we got uh, a pretty interesting uh, result here uh, the rest of the process is uh, pretty easy uh, all we need to do is uh, make a new plane here or we can go to the uh, I believe it's, it's the uh, right plane and we can start from here uh, no problem okay that's the right plane sketch on the right plane circle we won't we don't want to make it too big uh, because uh, if we do it will be intersecting itself in these parts uh, that are uh, smaller so we'll give it a dimension of say three and accept this uh, the rest is pretty simple we do a swap plot base around this and uh, there's our spring pretty nice uh, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and that you will be joining me next time Goodbye.